Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about a new piece of information that is huge. It implies a whole lot, and basically confirms we're going to be seeing some of our fan favourite villains returning in this next season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Alright, so there was an event that went on the other day in Brazil and they were running panels online and we had a Batwoman panel, we had a Flash panel where Daniel Nicolette and Kayla Compton, who plays Allegra and obviously Cecile Horton, were in attendance and they did their panel for The Flash Season 7 and they teased a lot and this is, and this implicates time travel, it implicates returning major villains time travel and lots more so let's go into the quote because there is an actual quote that was sent to me via a few people online and i wanted to read it out because this exact transcribe is literally what she said during the panel and this is huge so she says this you know we're not allowed to tell you secrets about the season but i will say i think it's a reasonable assumption that yeah we always have time travel on some level happening i mean I can tell you this, there are going to be some favourites from the past, some bad guy favourites that may be paying a visit or two this season, so I'll leave it up to you to speculate on how they're going to get to us. So yeah, this is huge. She basically just teased that some villains from the past, some of the most prominent villains are going to return. Obviously this could implicate old blood work and this could implicate Abracadabra, we know those two villains are going to return, but they're not fan favourites, they're just like newer villains and you know, they're not as prominent. So from this, what I took and what a lot of people online took is we're potentially going to be seeing some of the biggest characters and she mentions time travel and so she thinks it's reasonable to assume that it's going to happen in this season I'm pretty sure she's confirming yes, time travel is going to have some sort of play in this season. My main thought in terms of time travel would be to do with Godspeed. I really, really have this idea that Godspeed, whoever the real version is who is sending these clones back, is from the future rather than present day. I just got a feeling about that. I'm going to do a theory video on who that Godspeed may be in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, let's break down this other part. So, right. Who could these favourites be from the past, some of these bad guys? And will they pay a visit or two, as she says? So the implication is, in terms of her calling them favourites, we would assume some of the ones from the past. So you have Reverse Flash, you have Zoom, you have Savitar, and some people were saying Captain Cold. I think also Bloodwork may be in the mix there with what she's saying, we know he's coming back. But I got a feeling it's more to do with those other villains because they are more popular than the recent ones. So, Reverse Flash. What do we know about Reverse Flash? Is he going to be in this next season? It seems likely that he's going to show up at some point due to how he ended last time. And especially last season, you had him and his body, his kind of essence going up into the atmosphere with the kind of lightning streaking out everywhere after he tried to take over Nash Wells and... Basically, that's been lingering, and what they plan to do at the end of last season is have a cliffhanger to do with Reverse Flash. That was confirmed, I believe, by Grant himself, and so that was supposed to happen, but that never ended up happening due to circumstances, but there were plans to bring him back, so I would say it's pretty likely he's going to return, and it's probably going to include some form of time travel if he does return, because we don't know what version he is. Obviously, he is from the future always, so... Again, time travel definitely could be happening, and, you know, that could be the link. And we've heard rumours about Savitar, and we've heard rumours about some of these other characters returning, and obviously none of it has been properly confirmed, but this is the closest thing we've got to a confirmation. She's basically saying that, yeah, some of these guys are returning, but I'm not going to tell you who, but you're going to have to speculate on who is going to come back but they are going to come back probably through time travel in some way. And so what about Zoom? So Zoom returned for The Flash's 100th episode a while ago, and that was a big thing because he actually came back, the actor came back, Teddy Sears, and the way they left it off, it seemed like Zoom was actually out there somewhere, like a version of Zoom was potentially out there, and lots of people were speculating that Zoom could return 
due to what happened in that 100th episode. So if you go back and watch that episode, the way he ends it, he gets kind of kicked off out of the Speed Force, and it seems like maybe he got, you know, bumped into another time or, you know, another timeline or something like that. So maybe Zoom could return. And I've got a theory as to what episode Zoom could return, and we're going to get to that later in this video. But I want to go over the other one that is Savitar. So again, Savitar was in the 100th episode, so he did return in season 5, obviously two seasons after. And so it was a big deal, but it wasn't as big as a deal as when Zoom came back, due to the fact that there wasn't any new scenes, it was like a different perspective of the scene. So Savitar was there, it was a new version of the scene, but it wasn't anything new, unlike Zoom, where Zoom actually chased them through the speed force and everything. So. Yeah, Savitar did return after his finale in Season 3 when he got defeated by Barry and the team. And so I would expect maybe him to return at some point as well, if we're seeing Zoom coming back. Maybe they come back one by one, I don't know what Eric has got planned for this season, but it would be great, considering you've got everything that is going to happen with Godspeed. Obviously we're going to have a speedster villain this season it seems like. If Godspeed's the main villain and whoever he sends to steal Barry Speed and everything like that. And I really hope for a masked villain this season. That is my number one hope. I really hope there is some sort of mystery to it. That's what I've been missing from The Flash. And so I'm really hoping Godspeed brings that. And so what episode could these guys be returning in? So that is to be speculated about. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. But I would say it's pretty likely that the episode could be The Flash's 150th episode. Because that is happening this season, and that is going to be The Flash's penultimate episode. So the second to last one in its planned run this season for season 7 is its 150th episode. If you remember, Arrow did a special for their 150th episode, like they did for their 100th episode and everything like that. Flash did that as well, they copied what Arrow did, and so there's reason to believe that they're going to do the same, but for the 150th episode. So what Arrow did for the 150th episode, they did a special documentary, again, they could do that, and if they did stick to that format like Arrow did, you could have them going back in the past, because that's what Arrow did, they went to different versions of the past, and they interviewed some people, so maybe you get an insight into the past seasons and you have some flashbacks. But I would say with The Flash, it's more likely that they're going to jump around in time travel, kind of like they did with the 100th episode, because that is ingrained into the show. And so I think the 150th episode would be better, rather than be a kind of documentary-like episode looking back at the past, it would be better if they actually went to the past in person and you would see new scenes with like Savitar, Zoom, Reverse Flash, and the newer villains, and you know, all the little storylines that happened over the years they could return to. I think that would be a good way to do that, and I think this is the best way for them to show up at some point. But I got a feeling Reverse Flash is probably going to return earlier, and I think that Savitar and Zoom, if they do return, will only be, you know, like a one time thing. Especially because Danielle, in this talk, she actually, well, in the quote, she says that, you know, maybe one or two times, you know, she specifically mentions that, like, paying a visit one or two times this season, and she's going to leave it to us to speculate about, so maybe we see them more than once. I would say Reverse Flash is most likely to show up more than once because they plan to do something with him at the end of last season, so you would presume that maybe he continues. Maybe he has something to do with the Godspeed storyline. I would say that's probably very likely because they were setting that up since last season with the clones. And considering they have plans to reverse Slash, I think they were going to intertwine it somehow. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in the comments down below. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.